come to this hands on exercise or let us say a practicals in which I'm going to show you how to set up GitHub Actions in five minutes. Yes, you don't need to sign up anywhere. You don't need to do anything. We will be able to set up GitHub Actions in five minutes. What is GitHub Actions? We already know about it. I have spoken about it in one of the past videos in my channel. So if you are not aware of it, kindly go and look at that video. Basically, GitHub Actions is a serverless component developed by GitHub that will help you to enable CI CD setups much faster. This is what GitHub Actions is all about. How, how do we go about setting up GitHub Actions? Let's jump into the practicals right away. Here in my screen, you can see I'm in my GitHub repository. So I'm going to click on new where I'm going to create a new repository. I'm going to give it a name GitHub Actions 2022 example. Okay. Then I'm going to add a readme file and that's pretty much it. That's it. Then I'm going to click on create a repository. We have a new repository that is created now. You can already see GitHub Actions has been enabled. If you observe carefully there in the fourth option here, you see GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions is already set. Now, what you have to do is write some files so that the CI CD can be triggered automatically. How do we do that? Click on Actions. And then you can click on configure a simple workflow. Here you can see there is a simple workflow. Now, what is the workflow definition and all of that? I don't think you should worry about it at this point of time. So it, it is basically telling what GitHub Actions should do. I will explain this, but not with this example, but with another example, which is also similar. OK, so. In this, I'm giving a name that is called as GitHub Actions Demo. And then I am saying GitHub Actions should run, GitHub Actions should run whenever there is a push on my GitHub repository. Okay, this is the name, this is the action. That is, it is a trigger. It is the trigger in which GitHub Actions should start. After that, I have jobs and one of the jobs is given the name explore github actions then we have runs on what is runs on it runs on which operating system it can run on windows it can run on mac it can run on linux and in this example we are running on ubuntu latest after this it is running some linux commands as you can see on the screen it is not doing much but here in this video, I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up the GitHub Actions uh, in, in your GitHub repository. Let me rename this to GitHub Actions. .yaml is the extension you should have. So you can click on Start Commit, write a commit, enable GitHub Actions, then click on Create a New File. Now this file is added to .github workflow folder and if you go to actions you'll already see that there is something that has been triggered if you click on this enable github actions you can see a particular job ran let us try to understand this job so it is using a, a runner runner is basically like our jenkins agent it is cloning our repositories it is checking out our master branch then it is running the Linux command that we had asked this uh, actions to do, perform some actions. This is how easy it is to set up some GitHub actions. What about setting up some other workflows? So you can go back to GitHub actions, click on new workflow, and there are thousands of workflows that are already built for you. Example, there is a Terraform workflow which you can configure. If you want to configure Maven, there is already Maven configured workflow. You can configure the build of your Java project, everything. It is so easy that you don't have to worry about the infrastructure part. Now remember, 
because this is a public repo, GitHub Actions is enabled and it is free, but it is not completely free. In your organizations, you will have to purchase GitHub Actions or enable GitHub Actions specifically. Well, this is what I wanted to show you in this video that within five minutes, how I was able to set up GitHub Actions practically and implement a simple CI on a commit to my repository or a push to my repository. I hope this video was helpful. If you are interested to know more about GitHub Actions, understand more about GitHub Actions or anything related to DevOps, you can always reach out to me. There are links in the description. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe the channel. That's it for this video and thank you.